Hello my beautiful people. So today we are going to be coloring my hair. We're actually going to do a smudge root and bleaching it in the ends. Now I know what you're thinking, Hannah, you're not a hairdresser. And no, I am definitely not a hairdresser, but I've had a few bad experiences at the salon. So I just prefer to do my own and I've been doing it for years. So I'm gonna show you guys today how I do it and how I did it last time. Last time I did it was about two years ago. I haven't touched it since then. So I'm really excited to kind of give it a little help, you know, because it is definitely looking a little like mousy and kind of brassy. You can kind of see my natural hair color. Last time I did it, I did do a smudge root and then highlights on the bottom. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do it. Hopefully it turns out really, really good. I'm hoping so. It's been a while since I've done it, so I haven't had any practice in a while, but we shall see. First thing you wanna do is make sure you brush your hair out really good. I have not washed my hair in three or four days. I make sure that I had dirty hair to do this because I think that it protects my scalp a lot because my scalp does burn with bleach. Even though I'm not gonna put any bleach directly on my head, I am still gonna put color directly on my scalp, so it definitely helps protect my scalp a little bit. <laughs> So the very first thing I'm gonna do before I start sectioning my hair is mix together my color and my bleach. I'm gonna attempt to do it at one time. That might not be the smartest decision. We shall see. But I'm gonna mix my bleach first. I'm just using this one. This is the one that I usually use. So like I said, my hair has definitely been processed before and it's pretty light, so we'll see. I'm gonna use 20 volume. This is what I have. I mean, it works, it's cheap. So, you get what you pay for. I just use this little bottle to measure. You can use the bowl, but correct me if I'm wrong, but you should probably put this in before the bleach so it mixes together better, I think, but whatever. So this is about the consistency you want. Whoop, we're off to a bad start. Now that we drop some, this is what it should look like. So now I'm gonna mix my color. I think that my hair now is about a, a seven and I want it to be pretty similar to this. So I'm gonna use both of these and I'm gonna mix them. And I think I'm gonna do half and half. I mix two ounces of the color with four ounces of the developer. Still don't know if this is gonna be enough for my hair though. So I already showed you guys how I parted my hair down the middle to the side a little bit. So now I'm just gonna grab this one and go ahead and put it in a little bun just to get it out of the way a little bit. From the crown to like your ear, the apex of your ear and put it into two sections. So the first thing I do is just go in on the root. So now that you've smudged it out, I also kind of like to start narrower here and then go wider. So after I do down the middle, then I just take this section up like this. My baby hairs are real because I had so much postpartum hair loss. My hair is growing back, but those little baby hairs are just, as Brad would say, don't miss the sideburns. <laughs> then I take vertical sections, sort of at an angle. That's what I think looks best. Depends how like natural you want it to look. If you want it to look more chunky, I would take bigger sections. And you just paint it on. Now, I like to do less down in the front and down further in the back. I'm gonna do another little vertical section. So now I'm just gonna do the back section on this side. Same concept, you're just gonna take vertical sections. face already so that's fun i also have it on my hands i should have went ahead and put my gloves on so now i'm just going to do the same thing to the other side so the root color is on and like i said i did my roots first because i want them to darken up really nicely and my ends are already been processed so i don't want to leave the bleach on for very long so that's why i did the roots first i know some people do the highlights first and then go back in and put the root smudge but i just wanted to do it all at one time i think i'm going to do full saturation other than like a few pieces so like this piece in the front obviously we like a good like money piece up here in the front so i'm just gonna take it paint now 
if you are going to if you've never balayaged your hair before i definitely suggest trying just a few pieces first and then kind of going in with it i have done this to my hair before definitely need to put my gloves on i just kind of go in with my fingers and smudge it a little bit especially on the pieces that i want to be fully fully saturated <laughs> Hey guys i am so so sorry about my camera died and it's not like i could have stopped and charged it you know i kind of had to keep moving with it but this is what it looks like so i just put a few just little highlights in my hair and the bleach is already starting to dry a little bit which i'm fine with it's been on for about 10 minutes or so but i don't want to leave it on for very long so this is the final look um i just washed it and blue dry but as you can tell I do have quite a contrast now, which is nice, but I think that it looks pretty good. I'll show you the back. I'm happy with the way it turned out. It's more of like a soft ombre, I think. I could have taken my highlighted pieces up a little further, but just letting you know like um, how I did it is I just kind of choose pieces. I take little sections and then I just kind of paint on my lightener. I also did not leave the lightener on for very long because my ends, as you can tell, are already super blonde and I didn't want to process them for too long. But I'm also debating about just leaving it like this and not even adding a toner because I don't mind the tone that it is right now. And then let me show you what it looks like up. So I try to get like these pieces, as you can see, they're a little bit lighter on the underneath side too, but as you can see with it up, it's definitely darker than it was. Like, there's definitely more of a contrast now. I mean, I might like bring my highlights in a little bit more as the summer goes on, but I'm definitely, I'm definitely not mad at it. There you can kind of see a little bit more. This is, this is what it looks like. So I don't think I'm gonna tone it right now. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. And if I wanna tone it, I can, tone it later in the week or something but i will show you guys the toner that i did pick up in case i did need to tone it but if i tone it i will probably just tone this because i think that i think that my ends are blonde enough and they're a fine tone for me but this is a toner that i picked up i was just unsure too if this one bottle they only had one bottle left i was very unsure if this would work for all my hair because i have a lot of hair as you can see so i hope that you guys learned something if you guys want me to do any more hair stuff just let me know i don't do much with my hair though usually it just lives in a button on the top of my head that is all for this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye